Hello, welcome to the Free Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I am, well, I'm starting up another new series, guys. I'm sorry, it was supposed to only be a first look for now, and then maybe later on when I had a little bit more time, I was going to do kind of a full series, but this game is amazing. I absolutely love it. I, I'm just completely infatuated with it. It's on par with Battle Brothers for me of enjoyment and playing. It's not the same type of game or even that similar, really, but... I just really enjoy these types of games. It reminds me of Fire Emblem, it reminds me of Shining Force, it reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics, Ogre Battle, you name it, there's a whole bunch of games like it. This is a fantastic, phenomenal game. I played it for maybe an hour or so, and I absolutely, absolutely can't get enough of it. I love it, and I want to play it more. So, instead of just doing a first look for now and then coming back to it later, I've decided that I am going to go and just start up a series and go and play whenever I want. It's just kind of like HOM 3, Heroes of Might Magic 3. That was more for me than anything else. I love the HOM series, I wanted to play it, and I've been playing it. You know, I've, it's fallen off a little bit here and there, but I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to keep going with it. Same thing with this. I don't have a set schedule where I plan to fit this in, but I'm definitely going to be playing it and enjoying it. The story is... It just it, it reminds me, it hits that uh, nostalgia de facto exactly. It's perfect. Brings me back to the days of playing those other games that I mentioned. So, we're going to hop in and get started in just a moment. The game is Telepath Tactics. It is by Sinister Design. It released just a couple of days ago on Steam. And I'll have all that information down below in the description of the video. Bear in mind, folks, I am just getting over the flu, so I might have a few muted pauses or maybe a little catch in my throat or a cough or something here or there. I'll try to mute any of the coughing, but it's still possible that'll happen. I'll do my best. I just want you guys to be aware. I know it's a new series, so if you guys haven't been around the channel for a long time, you don't know that I just got over the flu a few days ago. So, just just kind of letting you guys know I'm setting you up. So, let's hop into the game. What is the game before we hop in? It is a top-down isometric view where you can scroll the map around, but you still, you just, you're still locked into that top-down view where you control multiple different units in a turn-based strategy environment and there's permadeath on the units you have and it's basically battle to battle you go through there's a story that's involved it's it's really 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 well done i'm enjoying it immensely i played for about an hour and i was 100 percent addicted and i love it and well it's a series now guys it's a series now so we gonna do the first series today or the first episode today i might do the first two episodes today depending on where i can make a break point at and yeah that's pretty much where we're at, so let's hop in. I'm going to butcher names and pronunciations like crazy. Mr. Developer, I apologize if I do completely destroy the names and beautiful things that you work so hard to design and create, but it's just the curse of being me, I suppose. All right, so campaign. We're going to start a campaign. I'm actually going to delete this. I don't know what this does right now. Oh, good. I can, I can go over it. All right, cool. So, there's two modes, normal and casual. The difference between the two are, in normal mode, if your characters die, short of the main characters that will end the game, the extra char characters that die will actually die and be gone and will never be seen again. Permadeath. In casual mode, they don't die permanently, but they come back in the next fight with less maximum health. So, we're going to go normal mode because that's how we roll. Hardcore! Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about hardcore, but that's how we roll. All right, and we shall begin! There's a mystery person here. At last, the Zeris. Amisiga. Again, I apologize right now if I'm butchering things. It has been so long, if only I could stay a while. But they must surely have sensed me by now. Amber saying, Sarn? Sarn Kamina? Is that you? It's all up to the car now. And away, goodbye, little ones, I must fly. And away they go, ten years later. Lift your collar, Hesh, says Slithus Pradat. I like to over-enunciate and make it a fancy sound in Pradat. I like it. I have a name, says Emma Strider. Your name will be Gadur if you keep leading with your feet during your attack. Smack! Smack! Uh. You see, what do what do yeah, what do I tell you, Hesh? You must always lead with the Sarah or leave yourself open to a killing blow. She pants with exhaustion. My name is Emma. <laughs> you make such slow progress. You are Hesh until you improve. Try again. Welcome to Telepath Tactics. Alright, I'm gonna ignore the tutorial stuff for the most part, guys. 
We are controlling Emma Strider. We have to left click on it and we can move anywhere within this blue area. So I'm going to move behind the individual. Why? Because I can. See, moving's easy. All right, and then we want to enter a turn. We can click down there or hit Shift D for done with that character. All right, we're holding our position. Enough hesitation. Draw your Sarah and attack me. All right, so we now have our sword. Our weapon is in hand, and it is time to murder. We're going to go back to the other side of him now. And down here at the bottom is where all of our attacks will actually show up in the bottom end of the actions menu. It's also got a corresponding number, so if I press 1, it opens up the attack thingy, and it shows you where you can actually attack. Well, clearly we want to attack the lizard person, so attack a Backstab damage, yeah! Alright. Now defend, says Salathus Pradat. Salithus, Salithus Pradat. Oh no! Bonk. Turn and poke, yeah! There's a spectator over there, spectating. Sloppy, Suzette Getter, Galen Hesh. <sighs> you know that I can understand you, right? I don't know why she sounds like Batman, but she does. In my mind, she sounds like Batman. So you understand, Lizard? What do you, or what you do not understand, is that weakness in combat will get you killed. Come, attack again. Try this time. Okay. Well, we will try this time. No, I don't want to move there. I've changed my mind. I want to go right back to where I was. And, hiya! And we got smacked again. It's not looking good for us, is it? Nope, not even a little bit. And Liz is going to run around to the back side and crack us up sadly. Now again, really, the, the booty. That was a booty slap. Oh, but look at that. We gained plus 3% dodge. We gained one strength and some, some extra ability called sprint, which is sweet, sweet, nice, by the way. All right. She eyes Emma with a look of unguarded disappointment. Here, use bandage, says Salutas Pradat. All right, she gets some bandages. So we're going to click up on her, and we're going to go down into her inventory, or press I, I prefer inventory, down there. We're going to click on this and use it. Heal us for 12, we're going to use it again, and heal us for 12 more. We're not fully healed, but we're close. We're close. And then we're going to run around behind the good old Salithus, and... Crack! Backstab damage. What? We are done. Rest. Reflect on your form. We try again tomorrow. Damn, says Sabrina Strider. I apologize, guys, there. I had to do a cut. I tried to make it seamless, but I imagine it probably wasn't. There was a... Uh, something fell in the room, and I just like, ugh! That kind of freaked me out, so... Definitely distracted me, so if you guys were wondering if there was like a little cut or the music was uneven, that's that's what happened. Emma, are you okay? She rubs her neck, grimacing in pain. I'll be fine. Salithus was real hard on you today. Yeah, what else is new? So, um, do you want to practice some more? Right now? Are you kidding? Oh, come on. I hardly ever get any sparring time. Salithus always focuses on you because you're older. Okay, look. It feels like a tree just fell on me. You want me to be ready when we go rescue Dad, don't you? Shh! Not so loud. Do you want us to get caught? S sorry. It's okay, look. I need to go rest, and you do too. Try not to worry. I'll see you tonight. You're late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, it took longer than I thought it would to find a sword. They must have moved the bandit stockpile sometime over the past few weeks. It's fine. Let's get going. We need to put some distance between us and the Zeris before daybreak. Hold on a second. What? I feel a little weird about this. Shouldn't we at least say goodbye? Sabrina, we've been over this. The Lysit will try to stop us if we tell them. I just feel weird leaving the Zeris behind without so much as a word. I feel like I'm turning my back on my home. This isn't your home. It's like we're leaving our family behind. Don't say that. What is wrong with you? Well, they basically raised us, didn't they? Look at me. I am your family. Father is your family. Family doesn't call you Hesh every other word. I guess... Pull it together, Sabrina. We've waited too long to give up on this now. If you don't want to come, then go run back to the Zeris. I am going to rescue Father. Hey. Hey, Emma. Wait up. So, where are the mines exactly? I don't know. That is what we're going to find out. Um, Don't worry. We'll find out where they are. We're not going to the Hesh Town, are we? First of all, don't call it the Hesh Town, it's just town. Second of all, why wouldn't we? 
Well, you know, Amber Sang says, I don't care what Amber Sang says. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, no one from, Zer from the Zerus would say how we ended up there, or how to get back to the mines. So we have to ask around ourselves. Someone in town is bound to know something. Well, look at that, Red. Two young ladies traveling all alone. This should be an easy one. Well, the boss will be happy to hear about it. Ah, we don't need to bother with the boss. Sorry, we don't need to bother the boss. We can get to, we can take care of this ourselves. Uh, relax. Bear won't have to know nothing. It's it, it's not that. What are you scared or something? No, it's just they have armor and weapons. Looks like, and there's only two of us. So what? A scrawny girl in armor is still just a scrawny girl. Come on, don't be such a chicken. I'm not a chicken. I'm just. Hey, hey, wait up. Bring it on. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, didn't your daddies ever tell you not to travel alone in Igor's territory or Igor? We're going to go with Igor. Why? Because now we'll go with Igor. That's who it is. It's Igor, I know. Yes, master. Did you see spiders? No, not that kind of Igor. Okay, sorry, sorry. Emma, bandits, don't worry. We're not all that bad. Just pay us a little tribute and we'll let you, or, and you'll be free to leave. They will? Ah, will you shut up? Get back, Sabby. You'll stay right where you are if you know what's good for you. Oh, we're not going anywhere. You two, on the other hand. Emma draws her sword. Right, time to run like the wind, Binky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't care. It's talking about multiple characters and things that you have to do and blah, 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 blah. It's all well and good. I believe I can run. So we will. All right, and we are done, and I'm going to hit Shift-E to end my turn. Probably should have turned around. Meh. He's going bush hunting. That's not good. Okay, so a few other things that I haven't mentioned yet. Obviously, this is the start of the game that's still being tutorialized and everything else. You learn things as you go through. If you left-click on any enemy, it shows you their movement range. So, knowing these guys are Axemen, they have to get within melee range of you. So, if you were standing there, you would get hit. If you were standing there, you would be safe. So, what are we going to do? We're going to move down here with Sabrina. We're going to go and grab good old Emma. And we're going to sprint ourselves to victory. What do you mean? Well, I'm going to run over here. And, bam, there it is. And then, what are we going to do with Sabrina? Isn't this going to put her in danger? Well, you could think that maybe, yes, she would be in danger. But, she has snare and we are going to snare the ground if anyone runs into the snare well they're gonna have a pretty sad day just saying just saying all right we're gonna chop down a uh, bushy bush and we're going to move on up and we're gonna go here and we're gonna slap this thing upside its noggin we're gonna get into that chest and we're gonna have lots of riches or something I don't know it's fine I'm going to move up here with Sabrina, and we're going to once again snare behind us. Now, if you guys are wondering, do we have a limited number of snares or whatever the case is? We do not, to my knowledge. What we use is energy. So the snare costs, I guess, three energy to place a trap. So we place two, and we're down to one. I don't know how that actually pans out. Because maybe we didn't start with the full uh, 14 energy. I'm not sure. But that's basically it, or perhaps, no, that's that's pretty much how it works, I guess. And with uh, Emma, she's already used her run ability. Oh, maybe, oh, there's 14, I don't know. I don't know why Sabrina's used up so much. But she has. Either way, we're going to end our turn. And it's going to be fine. Alright, there's the snare trap of death. Followed by the other snare trap of death. And we're going to have to drop this thing right here. And down it goes. It's sweet, sweet, nice style. And then we're going to have good old Sabrina come up here and guard her sister's rear end. We're going to rotate so we're facing the enemy so there's no backstab action going on on our side of things. And unfortunately, she just got walloped a little bit, but she retaliated. So tit for tat, as they say, tit for tat. All right, so what are we going to do now? We're going to have a good old Emma walk over here and grab with G, or you can press this button here, 
And we grab the item sack, and inside the item sack is a sword, an iron sword, which is better than a rusty sword. We could swap, but all items have a limited number of uses. I don't think we need it for this battle, so I'm not going to use it. It's pretty much, well, the size of it, really. Okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to rotate, and we're going to actually throw another snare down. If we don't move at all, and we put down, or if we don't move at all, and we just pass our turn, that's considered resting in this game. And when you rest, you will actually regain quite a bit of your stamina. You'll regain five. If you move, if you move and you do stuff, you'll regain one action point or one energy per uh, turn. So that's kind of how that works. If you guys were curious, now you know. Okay, we're going to once again end it all. Oh, also be careful when you do snare things because you can walk over that with your own guy and it will actually snare you as well. And you'll be stunned out in the open, exposed and vulnerable to the world. All right, the snare trap is sprung and we are going to do some damage. Damage done and damage done. Why is this happening to me, mommy? All right, so we have defeated Red. He's got no chance. That's what he's got. Alright, what I think I'm going to do is actually send Emma up here. Have her rotate down. Oops, sorry. Just have her rotate. I, I always do that. You, do, you don't actually click again after you rotate. And I think that's it. I'm just going to sit there and end it. So if he goes and blocks her in and fights... Emma can get the backstab, and if she if you walked up and hit Emma, then Sabrina could get the uh, backstab. You made a bad decision right here, drawing steel. Did I? Did I make a bad decision? I don't think so. All right, so we come down with Emma Strider, and oops, and we're gonna smack him upside the back of his head with the backstabby stab action, and we said good day, sir. Ugh! Can't believe she beat me. Good job, Sabrina. And level 2, crush resistance, energy, and gain sprint as well. It's sweet, sweet, nice. 2 kills, 37 damage dealt, 11 damage taken. Final score is 214. We grabbed 3 items that were dropped, or I guess just, we grabbed 3 items. And it took us 8 turns to do it. That's okay. Huh. Did I skip something? I feel like we jumped to this really really rapidly but maybe not maybe maybe we didn't all right so this is a tavern the bramble briar whatever that means it sure is noisy in here i think i like it ah crucius this is making me think of dad he took me to a tavern once when i was really little the music the chatter the warm lighting i'd forgotten all about it <sighs> he's counting on us savvy let's split up and see what we can find out Hi, my name is Emma. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I was checking the time. Hello, uh, my name is Gabrielle. Hello? I'm sorry, please forgive us. My sister has a strange sense of humor. It's just simple wordplay, Ferrisat. I don't get it. Well, you see, you said hi, which sounds like hi, so I responded by saying hello. Uh, it doesn't work so well if you have to explain it. Right. So maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for a certain place. You don't say. So are we. Gabrielle, a word, please. Excuse us, Emma. Hi, it's so good to see you. Oh, uh, huh? Goodness, I'm so sorry. You look just like my friend. I mistook you for her. This is Louise Legerdemain. Legerdemain? Legerdemain. It's going to be terrible, guys. I told you I'm going to butcher everything. It's, it's fine. Oh, well, um, that's all right. I'm so embarrassed. Can I buy you a drink? Well, okay, why not? Here, have a seat. My name is Luis, and this is my associate, Madeline. Madeline, Madeline, that's what we're going to go with, Madeline. All right, nice to meet you. I'm Sabrina. A pleasure to meet you, Sabrina. Madeline, would you be a dear and buy our new friend a beer? I have to be honest, I've never had a beer before. Here, try some. It's cheap swill, but it does the trick. Thank you. Ugh, this tastes awful. Don't let it's don't let first impressions fool you. You give you have to give beer it. You have to give beer time. It grows on you. Yeah, on your gut. She slaps her belly.
Say, I, I slapped mine too. That's, that's sweet, sweet, nice. Blech. To be honest with you, I don't know if I'm ever going to like this stuff. A good beer is one of life's little pleasures. I wonder what else you have never tried before. Have you ever played Guess a Number? No? What is that? Oh, you'll absolutely love it. It's great fun. Here's how it works. You pick a number, any number, and try to, and I'll try to guess what number you picked. Let's try it. Think of a number. Uh, all right. Hmm, you're thinking of 15. No, I'm sorry. I was thinking of two. Drat. Okay, let's try again. Think of a new number. Tell me when you have it. All right, got it. Your number is 37. Or, no, it was 21. Damn, I guess I'm not very good at this. Hey, Sabrina, maybe you should bet some money on the outcome of the next one. What, are you trying to ruin me, Madeline? I'll tell you what. We'll keep it small. Say, 100 aura. Well, uh, to be honest, I don't really have... Don't spoil it, Sabrina. We're just having too much fun. Besides, what are the chances of me actually guessing right? Well, you are 0 for 2. Indeed I am. Come on, think of a number. Okay, I have it. It's 8. But wait, 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 but what, how, how did you... Pure luck, dear, pure luck. Anyway, you've lost the bet, so now it's your time to pay up. But I don't have any money, I was trying to tell you. Oh, oh my, that is unfortunate, wouldn't you say, Madeline? You know what I always say, Luis, if you ain't got a fortune, you're unfortunate. <laughs> ah, hmm, hmm, yes. Well, we shan't let a little thing like debt come between friends, right, Sabrina? Oh, good, I was worried you were. You can work it off. What? What is it, Ferrisat? We don't know this girl. Perhaps it was, or it would be best not to trust her with the purpose of our quest. If you're that concerned, why don't you just read her mind? Really? You're really suggesting that? What? Why not? It's just the two of us. We could use some help, and she looks like she's handy with a sword. One doesn't simply go around reading people's minds. Gabrielle, it's rude. You're so fussy. If it were me, I'd be reading people's minds all the time. All the time time excuse me hi you can continue your argument in a moment i just need to know if you know the location of the vibra mines there you see ferrisat she's heading there too gavrielle so you're heading to the mines yes our dear brother was kidnapped and sold to the shadowlings we aim to free him yawa help us gavrielle that mouth of yours is going to get us killed one of these days maybe someday but not today not by me my sister and i seek the mines for a similar reason Everyone run for your lives! It's Bloodbeard's bandits! Gunther laugh. It's harvesting time. You all know the drill. Round up the men first. Kill anyone who gives you trouble. Fair expects us back with our catch by tomorrow. So, let's do this fast and efficient like. Sorry guys, my throat was starting to kind of twinge a little there, so I had to drop out of character voice. My apologies. Emma! Sabrina, over here! Is this your friend? She's my sister. Do you have business with her? After a fashion. Well, it'll have to wait. Come on, Sabrina. We can't just stand idly by while this village is ransacked by bandits. Can't we, though? Hey, wait up. We're going to help you. Are these the bandits the villagers kept talking about? They have shackles with them. Hmm. As I thought, slavers. If they sell slaves to the mine, they must know how to get there. We should try to capture one of them. The mines? <laughs> oh my, you're all mad. Excuse me, who are you? No one you need to concern yourself with. Ravenalian? Ravenalian? Sure. M Madeline, uh, strong arm, says, Hey, Luis, those guys have axes and they're heading for us. Maybe we should, you know, focus on that for now. Well, you don't have to axe me twice. <laughs> Good old Gabrielle. Yeah, well, help us. Alright, folks, I'm going to have to let them make their first move, but then I'm going to break off the episode. As, well, we're getting into about the 25-minute mark, and, yeah, I think we're going to break it off right here after their first move. So, in the next episode, you will see me make my moves. I'll actually read this one in case you guys don't know, and I... For whatever reason, forget to mention it, I'll read it to you right now. Your swordsmen and axe wielders can take more damage than your other characters, and they'll counterattack when hit. Keep them up front as much as possible. To see what a character on your team is capable of, right-click on her. Alright, so let's take a look real quick. See, you can right-click, and it brings up an actual little menu. You can see the different attacks and abilities that they have, how much health they have, energy, how much movement they can go across whether they're flying a land creature or something between the two, I don't know. And then of course you have your accuracy, your strength, your 
physical power or maybe that's your psi power? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna assume it's your psi power because it's not PHY or PHS or what, whatever. Anyway, so that's that's Sabrina, and then we can take a look over here at good old Ferrisat, and he is a photokinetics kineticist. That's a tough word. Photokineticist. There we go. He's got 20 health. He's got some psi power and some psi defense. Not much strength though. And you take a look. He's got mind blast. Basic mental attack always hits. And then Light Blast, which apparently is a long-distance spell. And that's pretty much it for this episode, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, fantastic. I'm super happy for you. If you didn't, don't really care. You know why? Because this is more for me than anyone else, and I just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. I actually hope you did enjoy and that you guys get behind this game because, again, this is something I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. I, I saw this being developed, and I was kind of like, Okay, I'm very curious to see where this goes, what direction it takes. I played a, another game or two the developer actually made, demos of them, and I was like, eh, it's kind of getting there, but uh, it was a little confusing. I didn't get to spend too much time in it. And then, like I said, within the first hour of playing this, I already fell in love. So, this definitely gets a big double thumbs up endorsement from Bumpy McSquiggums. I'll have all the information down below where you can get the game. Everything else, Steam Store, I think it's Steam and Desura, it's on sale. It just released, I think, on Thursday or Wednesday or something. It released earlier this week. And, yeah, I am all about this game, guys. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy it. And, well, I'll see you guys when I, whenever I post my next episode. Until then, I want to thank you all for stopping by the Freak Show. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.